Hello everyone, this is B. Mageshwaran, Assistant Professor, Department of Environmental Science, Vigay Chanasan College, Viridhanagar. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about metabolism of xenobiotics phase 2 reactions. Right? So, phase 1 uh, reaction uh, which yield a polar water soluble metabolite that is often still active. Many of the products in this phase uh, can also become uh, substrate for phase 2 reactions. Uh, in which uh, phase 2 reactions uh, which yield a large uh, polar metabolite by adding endogenous substances that is hydrophilic group of uh, metabolites by adding endogenous uh, hydrophilic groups to form water soluble inactive compounds that can be excreted by the uh, body. Uh, phase 2 reactions uh, involve conjugation by coupling of metabolites to another molecule such as coordination, acylation, sulfate and glycine also. So there are uh, six different types of phase 2 reactions uh, which is involved in the body. So namely coordination, uh, second one uh, sulfation, third one conjugation with uh, glutathione, fourth one acetylation, fifth one uh, methylation and sixth one conjugation with amino acids. Okay, coordination is well characterized phase 2 reaction uh, metabolic pathway that has a high capacity and produces rapid drug metabolism and also inactivation via the polar coordination metabolites produced. Examples uh, hydroxyls both phenolic and alcoholic group uh, including phenol, benzoic acid, steroids and amines. So here uh, glucoordination which consists of transfer of the glucuronic acid component of uridine diphosphate glucuronic acid to a substrate by any of one several uh, UDP glucuronose uh, transferase enzyme. Then second one is sulfation. So sulfation uh, is an important pathway of a metabolite for a range of endogenous component including steroid compounds, uh, glycolipids, glycoproteins, uh, glycosamino, glycoins uh, and also small peptides. Xenobiotics also uh, undergoes conjugation by sulfation which generally but not exclusively uh, leads to a reduced biological activity in the body. So phenolic and alcoholic compounds uh, which are conjugated with the sulfate molecule then sulfate group is transferred to uh, from phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate uh, actually transfer of PAPS uh, that is phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate molecule uh, with the sulfate group of uh, uh, perhaps to the particular uh, xenobiotic compounds to take uh, more uh, soluble form. So here I mentioned uh, phenol which react to uh, with uh, PAPS and produced phenyl sulfate and PAP uh, that is phosphoadenosine phosphate molecule. And third one is uh, conjugation with uh, glutathione. So here uh, glutathione uh, that is GH, uh, C, GSH is a tripeptide of three amino acids which including uh, glutamate, cysteine and glycine. So these three are attached through peptide bonds. So glutathione is commonly uh, abbreviated as GSH because of the sulf, uh, sulf hydride group of a cysteine a molecule which is the business part of the molecule. Right? So glutathione, which tran uh, glutathione transferase is an enzyme which catalyzes glutathione conjugation to electrophilic compounds uh, primarily produced from exogenous uh, xenobiotics by means of biotransformation reactions but here uh, which can also rise from endogenous substances. So the reaction uh, may be written as R plus GSH which gives R bond S bond G. So here R is an electrophilic xenobiotic compounds and uh, uh, the catalyzing enzyme uh, these reactions which is mainly catalyzed by the enzyme so called glutathione S transferases. And fourth one uh, acetylation. So is a reaction that introduces uh, an acetyl functional group into an organic chemical compound uh, namely uh, substitution of the acetyl group uh, for a hydrogen atom uh, while deacetylation is the process in which the removal of an acetyl group uh, from an organic compound. Acetyl-CoA is, uh, is an uh, acetyl donor uh, and also ionized uh, sulfonamide uh, which are all eliminated uh, from the uh, body. The reaction is catalyzed by acetyl transferases. For an example, the drug is isonized used in the treatment of tuberculosis that is TB and sulfonamide uh, which is subjected to acetylation reactions. 
right so these reactions which are example of acetylation reaction here uh, isonized which is transformed to acetylide isonized here uh, big of the enzyme n acetyl transferase plus acetyl coa the finally uh, produced acetylized isonized and second more example uh, sulfonylamide uh, which uh, transferred to acetyl sulfonylamide by the help of the enzyme called uh, n acetyl transferase plus uh, acetyl coa molecule so on fifth one is methylation so methylation uh, is a reaction uh, here uh, is a relatively minor conjugation pathway in xenobiotic metabolism uh, but it is a very important in the biosynthesis of endogenous compounds in the body uh, endogenous compound uh, is nothing but uh, epinephrine uh, melatonin so these are all the compounds are simply known as uh, endogenous compounds so in the catabolism of biogenic uh, amines such as um, nor epinephrine dopamine serotonin and histamine so these are all the proteins here, here uh, the one more example uh, so epinephrine is transformed to metanephrine by the help of the enzyme uh, called uh, cacil o methyl transferase enzyme so finally conjugation with amino acids so xenobiotics are conjugated with uh, some uh, uh, amino acids uh, like uh, glycine glutamine or etc so here uh, simply mentioned the uh, equations uh, benzyl coa plus uh, glycine which forms cupuric acid and also coa molecule so on second more example phenyl acetic acid is conjugated with glutamine amino acids and form uh, for phenyl acetyl glutamine so these are all the uh, phase 2 reactions thank you